Hello, we're going to be talking about the JPEG or Joint Photographics, Photographics, Photograph, uh, Photographic Experts Group. That acronym, you're never going to use it. You don't have to remember what that means. It's fine to ignore that. What a JPEG is, is it's your most common image format. All your cameras are going to save out JPEGs and most of your websites that you see are going to use JPEGs quite heavily. Any image that is not transparent or doesn't have to be transparent is likely a JPEG if you see it online. You download stuff from stock photo websites, that kind of stuff, all going to be JPEGs. And they are great. They're really cool for how well they can compress images and make them a little bit smaller. If you are going to need transparency, it's just not going to work. The file format can't support it whatsoever. You can also run into some issues if you try to compress it too much. You might get what's called some JPEG artifacting. If you try and make the JPEG way too small, it's going to it's going to try as hard as it can to get that file size down for you and it'll kind of ruin your image. So just be aware of that you can compress things too much, but largely you can kind of stay in the safe zone. A lot of people have asked what kind of compression you need to put on a JPEG, like what should you set your Photoshop save for web thing to? There's no real hard and fast answer to that. You basically compress it as much as you can without losing too much of the quality. For anything where you're going to be saving it for long term, like a photograph from your camera, or if you're putting something in storage from a photo shoot or something like that, you're going to want to save that as the maximum quality. The only time you should really worry about your file size for JPEGs is if you're going to be putting it on the internet. Then you have to be like really concerned about it because really large image files are kind of the main culprit for slow websites. So I hope that helps a little bit, helps you understand what JPEGs are. And if I referenced any other file types or anything else in the uh, video here, I'll put them in the description or in the article that goes alongside this. Thank you. Hope you have a great day.